Try telling the truth in social settings. So when someone invites you to a party, instead of coming up with a fake excuse that you both know is a fake excuse, just say, I don't want to go. Really fuck with you. <laughs> um, and if someone like says, hey, can you, uh, you know, help me move? You're like, I don't want to. It's very freeing because the thing is, is that like their response is on them. And if I just, I try and anchor myself to truth. If I just tell the truth, state the facts, I'm good with me. Because I had an exchange recently where I said that. I said, would you have preferred that I lied to you? And the guy just looked at me. I was like, so you would prefer that I lied? I will not be associated with someone who would prefer that I lied to you. Because it makes my life difficult. Because then I'd have to lie with someone grateful for my, my values. I, I had someone who uh, recently was like, hey, um, hey, if you need anything, you know, let me know how I can help. I'd be like, you don't mean that. Because if I actually need something, and so it's really uncomfortable for a lot of people because it, it breaks a lot of social norms. But I think that learn, it's kind of like the hundred no's. Like it's just being comfortable with the truth. And the truth is one of the, the scariest, the ugliest things. You know, like, why don't you want to go on another date with me? I don't like you. <laughs> but like people are so uncomfortable with that. I've just tried to shed bullshit as much as I could. And it's just made thinking a lot easier and also dealing with relationships a lot easier because you also, by shedding social niceties, do also state the truth. I say, I think you fucking killed that. People know it fucking carries weight because you don't just say that. And so I would say most of my team, for example, if I pay a compliment, they know that I mean it. And I don't have to say, like, hey, like, if I'm being honest, I really feel like I don't have to, you know, like, and it makes your words mean what you said. I think that is, like, I, I, I aspire to be a man when I say things people know that I mean. And I think a way to do that is to stop saying things that I don't mean. And so I'm trying to cut as much of the words that are niceties and things that I don't mean that are nonsensical and bullshit that I've been taught to say in this social situation. When someone says, that makes sense, I say, no, it doesn't make any sense. People are like, oh, because when someone says it makes sense at the end of sentence, range and just nod and say, yeah, yeah, even though if you didn't even process it, but if I don't think it makes sense, I say, no, I don't think it makes sense, or no, I don't understand, and again, you don't want to look stupid, but looking stupid in the moment so that you can better understand something makes you not look stupid for the rest of your life when you actually understand it, and so I've just, that has been a huge effort of mine, is to make, make words where you think words mean what they mean, yeah, and I, and I, and I really, I, I started that with my writing, and especially in my social relationship because time is so valuable and we have so, so little of it and I don't want to waste any of it pretending to be someone or say things that I don't.